Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist, and in this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial, I want to show you two additional features uh, that I didn't cover in my previous video to help you determine if you should upgrade to QuickBooks 2019. Okay, so for some of the more common features, go check out my other video uh, on uh, the QuickBooks uh, 2019 changes. But in this one, I want to show you two additional ones that I think are, are pretty good, okay, uh, to help you make this determination, okay? So the first one is your sick uh, and vacation time accrual for employees. You now have a couple of different options of how you accrue this. And this is due to some state-mandated requirements, <clears throat> excuse me, on um, vacation and sick time accrual, okay? So first of all, what you're going to do is you go in your QuickBooks file, go up to Edit and Preferences. Okay, so if you scroll to Payroll and Employees, go over to Company Preferences, okay, and click on Sick and Vacation. Okay, you now have the option here to choose maximum type. Okay, so if you say there's a maximum number of hours per year, there's two different types, maximum hours at a time and maximum hours for the year, okay? And if you change this for your employees, it's gonna to apply to all the employees, both past, future, et cetera. All right, so maximum hour, hours at a time uh, basically means there's a certain maximum uh, that they can have at any given point during the year. So let's say that it's 40, okay, for the year, and or for, yeah, for this particular year, and they use 10 of the hours, so now they're down to 30, uh, they can accrue another 10, okay? So the maximum they can get is the 40. Now, on the maximum hours for the year, it's just maxed out uh, at a certain amount, and they're not gonna accrue anymore, okay? So this is due to some state-mandated requirements, various states, uh, so you'll have to check with your particular state to see what works for you, but you do have this option now, okay? All right, so that could be a reason definitely to upgrade uh, if it helps you track things better with your employees. Now, the second one, which I, I kind of like this because I get this question uh, a fair amount, is let's say that you are upgrading to a new computer and you need to, or not even upgrading to a new computer, but you're just changing computers for whatever reason, and you need to move your company file, okay? Well, in the past, what you'd have to do is go install QuickBooks on that new machine, uh, then make a backup of your company QuickBooks file, and then you would have to transfer that file from, say, a thumb drive or something like that and reinstall it uh, or uh, 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 bring up that backup in the new, on the new computer, okay? Well, now there is a new feature here in QuickBooks 2019. If you go to File and you go to Utilities, okay, you're going to see an option here uh, that says Move QuickBooks to another computer, okay? So I'm going to walk through this uh, just briefly and show you what it does. Okay, so first, QuickBooks has to close all your open windows before moving your program. Do you want to continue? You click OK. All right. And we'll wait here for a second while it closes any windows. Okay, let me move this to this screen. Okay, so it says moving QuickBooks is simple and secure. Here's what you'll need. Okay, so to install it on the new computer, uh, you need your old computer, your new computer connected to the internet, a USB flash drive. Okay, and say, I'm ready. And then you create a password. Okay, and I'm not going to go through all these steps because I don't want to take it off of this computer. Uh, so this is a one-time uh, password uh, to protect your information. So you make this password. It puts basically the QuickBooks software and your file on this thumb drive. You take that thumb drive to the new computer and plug it in. And it's, it creates a file. And it's going to automatically install the software and your file on the new computer. Okay. So this makes it much, much simpler to move your QuickBooks file. All right, let me cancel out of this and I'm gonna get back to QuickBooks over here. And I've got a sample product-based company. Okay, so 
just leave this here and let this come up. Uh, so those are two new features in QuickBooks 2019 that could, uh, you know, you may need some of these features and think that uh, it, uh, you need to upgrade to QuickBooks 2019. But to be honest with you, if you're still in 2017 or 2018, and a lot of these new features are not, you know, mandatory that you have, or these are just can't live without, you can stick with QuickBooks 2017 or 18. Uh, uh, you know, especially if you use the QuickBooks payroll function, uh, you can still use 17 and 18 and get payroll support. But if you use anything prior to that, uh, Intuit will stop uh, support if they have not already for the payroll function. All right, so that'll do it for this video. Any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, and head on over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. Uh, we'd love to help you out over there. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.